ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Johan de Nijsen, president of Audi of America. What a fantastic car, isn't it? The new Audi S4. Ladies and gentlemen, a happy new year and a warm welcome to all of you. And also to our special guests from Volkswagen and the board members of all the brands in the Volkswagen Group. Today, we are looking back on the past year and we're also looking forward into the future. And in every direction that we look, we see success. The story of Audi of America is perhaps best captured in one word, momentum. We are showing continued momentum in sales. In 2010, we broke through the 100,000 mark for the first time. And last year, we set sales records every single month on our way to over 117,500 vehicles sold. And we now have our sights very firmly set on attaining the 150,000 mark only a few short years from now. We're also gaining momentum towards offering a complete portfolio of vehicles for every luxury driver in every segment, from the eco-conscious to the performance enthusiast. We're also experiencing strong momentum towards our strategic goal of having more drivers in our luxury mid or large size segments. Because of the response to our new A6, a7 and A8, every fourth Audi that we delivered in the US last year was one of these top-of-the-line models. We're also creating momentum in building an enthusiastic exclusive dealer network. We've more than doubled our de exclusive dealership count since 2005, and our program to continue the upgrading of dealer facilities and the expansion of capacity will continue through the next two years. We believe that this momentum is due to superbly engineered vehicles backed up by an equally well-engineered business model based on profitable growth. And we are working very hard to ensure that every interaction people have with our brand, whether it's entering a new Audi dealership or stepping into the new S4, leaves them engaged, excited, and delighted. And that is why I'm so excited about what's in store for us in the future. It is now my pleasure to introduce our CEO and Chairman of the Board of Management of Audi AG, Rupert Stadler. Rupert, join me. Thank you. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Johan. So what's ahead for Audi in 2012? First, building on the extremely successful year that Audi had in 2011. And second, the launch of the two latest members of the Audi family, the Audi A4 and the S4, after their global design and technology improvement. And third, at the Consumer Electronics Show, this week in Las Vegas, we'll be showcasing cutting-edge technology from the newest Audi Connect innovations. And finally, an exciting show car, the Audi Q3 Veil and an exciting announcement on the Q3 model series. So let me start with a short recap of Audi's strong performance in 2011. Last year, Audi increased its deliveries by 200,000 units, reaching a total of 1.3 million cars worldwide. For us, this is unprecedented growth. And I admit, we are quite proud about that achievement. Audi is now ranked second among premium car manufacturers worldwide. We set new sales records, not only in the US, but also in China and, of course, in Western Europe. We can now say in all confidence that we are on track to exceed our growth forecasts at a global level. We expect to reach our strategic target of 1.5 million cars earlier than the original forecast of 2015. So despite the current market conditions, we also plan to grow faster than the overall market in 2012 in all regions, also including Europe. So the second topic, it's about products. 
Audi has updated its A4 series. And here you see the sporty S4 top model. It offers high performance and an exciting driving experience. The whole A4 and S4 model series is defined by a new level of efficiency, of driving dynamics, Audi infotainment, and by an even more attractive design. So we have made the new A4 11% more fuel efficient on average, despite having given it more horsepower and more torque. The three-liter TDI has the most efficient six-cylinder engine in the class worldwide and gets 48 miles per gallon. And another important feature is Audi Connect, a Wi-Fi hotspot to facilitate fast internet and email access, navigation with Google Earth and Street View, voice-controlled Google searches for points of interest. So why not give voice control a try? Navigation, destination, Las Vegas Convention Center. Gary Shapiro is the president of Consumer Electronics Association. And right now, Gary Shapiro is 2,000 miles west of us in Las Vegas, where the CES show starts on Tuesday. And this is our third topic today. So hi, Gary. Hi, Rupert. While you're at the place to be for car fans, I'm at the number one trade show for consumer electronics, the 2012 International CES. Here in Las Vegas, we're very proud that Audi is back at CES this year. Rupert, I remember your keynote here last year where you announced that LTE would be integrated soon in one of your cars. And today, Audi is the first car manufacturer to showcase the integration of LTE, the latest standard for high-speed mobile internet. And as you see, I was enjoying my test ride in an A7 with LTE. That's really a four-sprung Dirk technique. The consumer technology industry will generate more than $190 billion this year in the U.S. alone. As the industry's leading trade association, we promote the growth of this enormous business. We had some 150,000 visitors here at CES last year, and this year we're expecting just as many. That's why I say, Don Cachet, thank you to Audi for providing the mobile LTE high-speed internet and other exciting new highlights of Dreams on Four Wheels at CES. Thank you, Rupert, for having me at your press conference, and I look forward to seeing Michael in Las Vegas. Back to Detroit. So thank you, Gary. My board colleague, Mike, will join you tomorrow in Las Vegas. So Audi Connect is one of the pillars of what we call our strategy 2020. Two more advances we'll be highlighting at the Consumer Electronics Show. With a brand new graphics chip from NVIDIA, we will demonstrate how a car manufacturer can cope with the rapid speed of new development in the IT sector. And we will showcase our new concept for a head-up that... So my topic number four, our diesel success in the American market. Three years ago, we introduced our Audi A3 and the Q7 diesels to the US. And in 2011, every second A3 or Q7 sold here at a diesel engine on board. Now diesel is being embraced by Americans who are recognizing, as we like to say, diesel is no longer a dirty word. Our TDI clean diesel engines reduce carbon emission by 20% compared to gasoline engines. Diesel 
is a proven clean technology that is already available today. And we will continue to bring diesel drivetrains to American drivers and customers. Here in the US, we will introduce the Audi A8 with a TDI, followed by the Audi A6 with a TDI engine, both by 2013, and followed by the Q5 diesel. And finally, the last point on our agenda today, it's time to talk about the Q3. But first, have a look. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Audi Q3 Whale. The show car looks very much off-road. But Peter, please, why do you call it Whale, the Q3 Whale? You know, we are engaged in uh, winter sport uh, heavily since uh, many, many years. And uh, I think that uh, winter sport fits perfectly to the DNA of Audi. After all, we invented the four-wheel drive, and uh, talking about four-wheel drive, we have another record to announce here, that uh, in 2011, for the first time ever, we sold over 40% of our cars with the Quattro technology equipped. I think this is an absolute great achievement. So talking about uh, C-Sport uh, in the US, you come very quickly to Vale, which is a world-class ski resort, yeah. and uh, I think the perfect place uh, to experience this wonderful new car. That's perfect. Uh, what's special about the Q3 Whale? Could you have some information? I think uh, both the interior and exterior are very, very appealing. Uh, in the interior, just an example, uh, we have now a display where you can see exactly the angle of uh, inclination. We expanded uh, the track, we increased uh, the trim, and uh, we have many, many other new features. But I guess, Rupert, that uh, what most people really would like to know now is, are we going to bring the Q3 to the US? And I guess you still remember that uh, last year, we both have been here in the US at the dealer meeting presenting the Q3, just to get a feeling of how it could be received by our dealers. And I think it was overwhelming, and uh, we owe them an answer. Yeah, that's true. We have been in San Francisco, and it was an overwhelming uh, event. And uh, in the Audi board, we decided to go with the Q3 to America. The car will be produced in Europe. The production will start end of 2013. So the car is fitted for the American market. And I would say it will also fit within our SUV strategy perfectly. Absolutely. I think the Q7 and the Q5 showed already how successful we can be here in the US. And, uh, to add something now is uh, the right move. And as we internally say, the Q party continues. And it will help us to grow further on here in the United States. So Absolutely. Peter, thank you very much. Thank you all for joining our press conference of Audi. And uh, now I would like to say to my board colleagues, Johan, to the design team, join us on stage. Thank you for coming and being with us.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending the Audi press conference. Please join us on stage to take a closer look at the cars. You may use this opportunity to take photos.